It's a Sunday morning and I'm in Bingley. There's a Grim Up North event today with a marathon option and you can enter on the day. Now, I've not done a long run for a while. I've just kind of been recovering really from doing a lot of ultras and things. So I fancied a long run today, but didn't feel that motivated. So I'm hoping I can enter on the day and go and run a marathon. So just entered, I'm number 26. And these guys have had the best idea put point two so they've given me a sharpie 26.2 <laughs> it's got to be done hooray i feel happy now i've got a race number so i can calm down a bit now just gonna head back to the car and get my bag out get sorted i didn't want to turn up all ready to race and then them say oh we are full or <laughs> i've got my number now so yeah time to head back to the car get ready come back down here there's a lot of moisture in the air it's not meant to rain but it's very wet but it's going to be a warm one today, 12 degrees in December. So today we've got marathon, half marathon, 10k and 5k. Ten, about to start the marathon. Eight, seven, six, Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Start my Garmin. <laughs> Way. Way. Thank you. I'm actually excited now. I hate that bit before, but then as soon as you start going, then it's exciting. We're up on the canal towpath and there's a mist sitting over all the water. Looking up there, it's really atmospheric. There's been mixed reviews about the course today. Looking at the profile, it is pretty flat, hardly any climb. So that is one of the reasons I was attracted to it. <laughs> but then on arriving, chatting to people, they've been saying it's a really tough course. So I don't know if that's because it's technical or muddy. Um, so we'll see, I've got a pole in my bag in case I need it. Um, but we'll just see what the course is like. Yay, thank you Christmas themed Marshall. <laughs> thank you. We're running next to the river now. I'm just trying to keep the person in front of me in sight. And then I sort of don't have to worry about the route. I can just follow them and make them do the work. <laughs> I hope they don't go wrong. My jingling isn't annoying me yet though. <laughs> That's a bonus. Morning. Morning. Thank you. No so at that marshal, there was the point at which the 5K route went off and the half marathon went straight. These races today are lapped, so there's a 5K and a half marathon. But it's really nice the way they've done it. So they've offered two laps of each so you can actually do a 10K or the full marathon. I just think it's a really clever way of giving people that progression to step up to the longer distances of trail running. So big thumbs up from me. Hooray, I am loving these Christmas themed runners. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I thought everyone would be in Christmas attire, but <laughs> Just the best runners are. It's meant to be oggy, oggy, oggy. <laughs> what running club is that? I want to run with them. They look so fun. <laughs> I just seen Kay. Kay Jeffries, my running mum, running along the towpath. We're in a kind of traily wood section at the moment. Quite technical. Should probably look at the floor, not the camera. And um, that was so lovely to see you, Kay. I'm 
I'm hoping this is the one hill in the race. Big, long drag up from the canal. Can you hear? It's hard turning off here. Oh no, and carrying on going up. It's a never ending hill. I'm losing my Christmas cheer. Oh. Oh. Please let it stop soon. We've just done some really slippy technical running. Um, I was running with Darren for a bit, so thank you for coming. And now I'm between them, you guys. And um, just nice to have people to chat to. And I've got my pole out. It's got really muddy and really slippy. Um, so yeah, some decent technical running. Coming up to six miles now. And we're on, oh, is that baby tea rooms? I know where we are. <laughs> um, and so it must be chocolate bar time. I'm just eating uh, Cadbury's Time at bar while we're on this nice flat bit. Well done. I'm going to run round you. Yay. Well done, Thank you, well Christmas done. Marshall. Well done. well done, Darren. Well done, guys. Well done, guys. Yeah. It's not far till the turnaround. I love this bridge. It's very pretty, but it's very fattest because I only just fit through there. Fattest, that's probably the wrong word, isn't it? Sizest, whatever. But, you know, people larger than me should be able to fit through there. That's not the best design. Probably been there for a really, really, really long time, but, hmm, not very accessible. We've just been overtaken by an elf. Some of the puddles along here are pretty deep. I think I'm just gonna go off to the side. Uh, that this is not paid off. Oh, that whole thing is horrific. Okay, so you can't avoid that for next time. I know that now. <laughs> just have to go through it. My problem is, I'm in Gore-Tex shoes, so the water goes into my shoes. It's not going to come out again. How are you doing, boys? Yeah, good. How are you? Yay! Well, well done. <laughs> Nobody fell over? No, we're all good. Yeah, I took one down. I took a slumber. Yeah, I took a slip, but. Oh no. Survived. I haven't got trail shoes on, so. You haven't? No. Oh my goodness, you're in road shoes? Yes. Yeah, so am I. Yeah. We were just saying you couldn't attempt this in road shoes. No. Well, you're doing well, well done. Yeah. Well, this is lovely. We've got like a little pack. A company. Darren's just in front of me. Six of us, that's nice. Um, but everyone's garments keep beeping. I keep looking at my wrist, it's not mine. We're at eight and a half miles now, and we're looking out for the checkpoint, which was meant to be halfway round. So I'm hoping it's not halfway round, because otherwise it's gonna be a really long marathon. Let's hope it's just up ahead. Oh, and these guys, it's their first marathon. First time Just coming up to nine and a half miles in. No checkpoint yet, so time for Wendy the Worms. My favourite running sweet. <laughs> That's made me happy. Well done. We've just got the faster um, half marathon runners now coming past. We had the elf earlier and then that's number two. I wonder if more will start coming now. Bit of a narrow path coming up ahead though. So hope not to get overtaken on that. The trails might be muddy and hard work, but give me trails over tarmac any day. Much rather be on the trail. That being said, we could be on the trail down by the river here, um, but it's so narrow and um, really, really, really wonky paving. And uh, there's basically you could just slip into the river, so probably taking the safer option. That was actually really clever route planning because we're back on trail now. I think we've just missed the really dangerous, nasty bit of trail. So big thumbs up from me. Just seen the first two marathoners head out on their second lap. So they're doing really well. Got 
walked a couple of miles to uh, complete the first lap and then set up on the net because I'm starting to feel tired now. Well done, you're doing really well. It's definitely less wet than it was when we first set out this morning. You can even see a couple of patches of blue sky. So that's really nice. It is a little bit warm though, but I'll take that over rain or snow, I think. Oh, so I think we need to go around these cones. Thank you. I'm going here. Just sat out on lap number two. I stopped for ages at that checkpoint, or halfway point, whatever, um, to fill up on food and water because there isn't a checkpoint halfway round. That's why we couldn't find it. We all thought there was one. There isn't. Halfway round, as in halfway round the marathon. So it's there. So I've waited there for the next runner to come because I wanted some company. <laughs> so hello. Hi. What's your name? Katie. Katie, nice to meet you, Katie. But Katie lost her headphones um, sort of halfway around the route somewhere. So this loop is search for headphone loop. <laughs> You'll see if we can find them. There's more half marathon runners. Well done. Well done. Oh, yay. Well done. I love your charity. Thank you. Um, that lady's running for the Brain Tumor Charity. Um, yeah, I thought it'd be really nice seeing all these half marathon runners, but mentally it's pretty hard because they're running home and we're running away from home <laughs> so I just sort of want to be at the turnaround point and feel like I'm heading back not too far though until I feel like that we've got that awful hill again so I'm sort of not looking forward to that bit so Katie and I are a bit of a dangerous pairing because neither of us want a time today <laughs> we're just doing it for time on our feet and um we're just having quite a nice chat and walk. <laughs> so this is, <laughs> it is beautiful. Um, so it's definitely not going to be a fast one today. <laughs> but yeah, we're just out enjoying being outside, being active and getting the miles in. We did just do a bit of running, I promise. Uh, we're now on that monstrous hill though, so we're going to walk up this. Then we'll have to walk the descent as well. I didn't film that on the first lap. It is so slippy, steep, very, very muddy. So that's definitely a walk and then we can get running again. But the sun's out and actually it's a beautiful day now. <laughs> so I'm not really in any hurry to get back and get in my car. Although I think there might be a barbecue at the end. So that's sort of motivating me. <laughs> so we've just got most of the really bad, muddy descent out of the way. Just sort of finishing that off now. But the sun's come out and these woods look incredibly beautiful. What a day to be out running a marathon. Well done. Oh, nearly. Well done! Yay! Can I run round you again, Christmas Marshall? Yay! Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you. Merry Christmas! Ah, what a cheery Marshall! Hooray! That makes all the difference. We're both smiling and feeling happy now started feeling like I needed something and um, I filled up this little bottle of coke at the halfway point so just got that out that's exactly what I need what have we got left seven miles to go yeah just needed some sugar we're walking because it's an uphill again we have been running <laughs> He's not filming much of the running bit. But I was just saying the difficult thing about enjoying it and taking it slow 
is that you get hungry. But I just remembered I got a banana at 13 miles. Um, we've just beeped 20 miles, so six miles to go. Um, but definitely time for a banana because I'm so hungry. I can't run when I'm hungry. I just get too grumpy. Thank you, Marshall. We know we're well meant done. to be running. <laughs> Look, that is what I love. <laughs> We're just coming up to the last mile now. So we've totally got this. It's been so lovely that we've stayed together. I've loved having the company at the um, halfway point. I was thinking, I just want somebody to talk to. <laughs> so that's been so good. Um, we're hoping that they've got all the food ready at the end. So I'm ready to eat everything. Um, but yeah, less than a mile. And what a gorgeous day. We're pretty much there. My watch has just clocked 26.2 miles. We've just got to go over this bridge, around the corner, up the hill. Nice uphill finish, guys. <laughs> and uh, we're done. Been totally chilled second lap. Um, so we're finishing about 5.30. So happy with that, <laughs> considering how much walking we did. We've just realized we can get sub 5.30 if we do this last bit in a minute. So, quick! Yay, thank you. Yay, thanks guys. Thank you. Yay, medal, thank you. Are you doing the honors? It's a glow in the dark as well. Well done. No, that, Thank yeah. you. Ooh, glow in the dark. Some glow in the dark. I'll be putting that on my uh... so I'm excited about that. Oh, wow. That's we can amazing. wear it at night. Oh, let me see. That is unbelievable. Okay, we're excited about that. We need to wear our medals in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> that is really bizarre. But thank you, I'm excited. <laughs> this is literally the perfect race because, look, the cows are in the river. There's a whole, well, canal. There's a whole canal between me and the cows. <laughs> that is, that's the correct distance away that cows should be when I'm running. <laughs> We've got our lovely um, glow-in-the-dark medal, but we've also got beer and chocolate, so that's exciting. Everyone's eating the cake, but we're getting some veggie sausages, so we are happy. I can't tell you how excited I am about this veggie sausage. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Well, that was Grim Up North's Bingley Ball Balls Marathon. Really loved it, really good to get out there on the trail, to get a longer run done. Um, and just so grateful to Katie for her company. That was great. So I've had my veggie sausages. <laughs> Gonna head home now. I need a bath. My legs, I am absolutely covered in mud. Um, but yeah, here we are at the car, ready to head home and get clean and get ready for another adventure. Thanks to Grim Up North. Thanks to you guys for watching. See you on the next adventure.